Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It is uh, currently 3.36. I think this is uh, almost getting standard time now to start these videos, but uh, yeah, my flight is at uh, seven o'clock. So uh, yeah, I have a little drive to go there and then we're going to Valencia. Um, yeah, this weekend is the first eco rally we are doing this year with Malen. So uh, yeah, early wake up call today, time to uh, fly to Valencia and do all the preparations today before the Eco Rally will start tomorrow. We have arrived in Valencia and we are currently at the Male factory here. Um, yeah, we got a tour around here which was uh, pretty cool. Now it's time to go to Castellón where our car will be for the rally. We have a different car now than last time. Uh, we're gonna have a Hyundai. And uh, yeah, we have the calibration road today and the technical checks, preparing everything for uh, the rally. So we have arrived in Castellón. Here is our beautiful car. We have a Hyundai this time. So uh, yeah, we just did the administrative checks. Um, now we are waiting for scrutineering. First we have to put the stickers on. Here we have some put on already. Got the Mala logo on and Arthur is putting on our starting number on the other side. Looks like it's gonna be a busy race because uh, on the entry list are 46 cars. We are starting number 21. So uh, yeah, scrutinering will be in a little bit once we finish doing the stickers and then uh, we need to do the calibration road to have everything ready for tomorrow. So we are at the start of the rally. We are queuing up in line here for our starting time. We've got everything installed, cleaning the window. Arthur has his phone ready. So uh, yeah, let's hope we can do a good job today. So day one of the rally done, we just got back in Parc Fumé. So we had uh, three stages today. Uh, first two went pretty well. Second one was really long, 70 kilometers. And the third one we uh, yeah, didn't go very well. We had some uh, issues or, well, we don't know if we had an issue, but somehow we uh, suddenly had a 200 meter offset. So um, yeah, let's see how the results will be for that and how much points that will cost us but yeah first two were good we went uh, had some nice routes around the mountains so uh, yeah now day one is done waiting for the results for day one and then uh, tomorrow we have another day with i believe nine more stages so it's day two we have uh, just picked up the roadbook we are making some notes right now to uh, prepare for the stages we have actually found our issue from yesterday. It was our GPS thought we were zigzagging like this. And that's added 200 meters to, uh, to our distance. So uh, yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen today. And uh, I think we are quite good on the consumption. So uh, yeah. This
turn and there will be a road coming from the left side. the second day all the cars are back now in Parc for me um, yeah it's been quite a challenging day for us this morning we started off quite well but uh, then at one point um, we missed an exit so uh, yeah we had to turn around come back but that's then you are very far behind and you lose a lot of points so um, yeah from there on we knew it was gonna be quite difficult but we still uh, tried to focus on every stage uh, we had a lot of stages today so um, yeah we definitely enjoyed it um, I think on the consumption we were quite good but we don't have the results left they will come later tonight so uh, yeah let's uh, let's wait for the results and uh, we'll be pretty bad on the regularity but uh, let's see where we are with the consumption so that's the end of this rally um, yeah so in total of the regularity so the average speed uh, we finished p16 um, yeah we knew we uh, would struggle with this because uh, on the first day we already had the gps issue and then uh, yeah we missed a road once so uh, yeah we knew it was bit di would be difficult but on the consumption we already had a feeling that we were quite good and the result just came out and we actually won it. So uh, yeah, very happy with that. It was super close between uh, P1 and P2. So how they do it, they uh, calculate by um, how much battery usage the manufacturer says your car should have compared to how much we actually used. And uh, we used around 72% um, of what we normally should use um, and then they do that with all the cars uh, to keep it equal but uh, yeah the difference between us and p2 was 0.04 percent if i'm correct so uh, yeah it was very close but we just managed it so yeah last time in the dollar meet we were second on the consumption and now we won it so uh, yeah i'm very happy with that um, so at least we can go home with a trophy um, and yeah, hopefully we uh, can improve the regularity for the next time and uh, do as good as get again on the consumption. So uh, yeah, um, I'm happy at least. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again soon for another video.